Hey, you don't hear? Okay. Once again, we'll get down in here. Boo up the <clears throat> ass rock tool. Yet another virus scanning. Rescue. CD, USB, SD card, USB. Hmm. I just got through resetting my settings on my again new install of open camera. And it's super close. What's the deal? Okay, I better get up here and pay attention. Ah, missed it. I think it's the zoom. Yeah. It started in the middle. That's what it was. <coughs> I don't know what it booted into. Okay. Um, accept, don't accept. I think it, I don't think I hit it in time to mess it up. I think it just, uh, booted to the default, which is what I would have wanted to try first anyway. As long as it works, it's good. New update found. Okay. It is recommended to update. The uh, update process can always be started later. But I want to update it now. There it goes. Shouldn't take too long. At the rate that it's going. This shows you exactly what it's doing. Now what files it's downloading. They're bin files. Like in your router firmware. They're usually dat files. Dat. Dat. Or oh, 4.63 megabytes, and then the other one is 127.94 megabytes. But it's still kind of odd <coughs> that that takes as long as it does because in the web browser, well, of course, when I'm making a video, it seems longer, but it doesn't take very long. With 60 megabits down and 4 up, uh, I would say by now it should be done about right now. But it's not quite 45% or 50% through. Oh, it jumped way up there, 78%. So I was and say, well, I better kill the video and come back. But I think it's going to get done in time. Starting over a new video and kind of explaining where you're at and what you're at, even just for myself, to know what video goes with what. It can take all the time you might have gained by starting and stopping a new one. Either way, your videos get too long or uh, you get intro after intro, you know. I've seen people where they they start and stop and then you end up with like ten, five to ten intros in one 30-minute video, you know. So, uh, it's almost done now, 90%. So it's jumping up in intervals in the, the little white terminal window here that we have. It's more of a graphic of a terminal window. Uh, okay, it's completed. There we go, 100%. It doesn't tell you everything that's happening. I mean, it's telling you pretty good, really. Okay better pay attention and do what it says to do oh there's no mouse <coughs> enter I was worried that I might lose my USB keyboard like happens sometimes okay quick scan no I do not want that scan files are loaded during system startup configure and run on demand scan advanced options and utilities shut down I'm going to advance because that's the kind of guy I'm, I'm an advanced guy Scan utility view processes last scan result update. I've already done that. Hot fix. Scripts for fixing unknown uh, issues. Database. Select virus database. Vault. Inspect Windows virus vault. Mount. Free mount Windows volumes. Network. Configure network. All that should be already done, I hope. Boot. Create a bootable flash drive. Oh, you can do it from right there. Miscellaneous utilities. Oh, I didn't know it had more than one. Okay. Configure and run update. Guess what? I think I'm going to return because I've already done my update and it doesn't have what I was expecting. So 
but maybe I'm not their kind of advanced guy. This is advanced uh, AVG type of guy instead of advanced advanced type of guy. Configure and run on demand scan. That's really probably all I want. Volumes, directory, registry. Scan only registry. Okay, I want everything. Yeah, all volumes. But I wanted to scan the boot sector. You have to do that separately? You know, I've done that over and over and over. What I don't need to do is I don't need to scan my uh, stick I just booted from. I don't want to delete anything off of there. So, and that would be the 32 GBSD. That's why I like to name it a name of my choice so I know for sure which one's which. NTFS 232.9 gig. That's my Windows hard drive. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. My arm's getting tired. Gonna have to do something about that. Okay, yeah, put it on the chair. Now it's a little more crooked, but... Scan inside archives. Yes, you hit the uh, space key as usual with this kind of thing. Report password protected files. What? Report. Use with ARC. Hmm, that must be something they have. Report archive bombs. Well, I'm going to say, even if I can't, you know, if they're trying to get me to send it to them somehow, I won't worry about that. I just won't do it. Unless it does it automatically, I don't care if they know about that. Use heuristics, yes. That was a word I was trying to think of the other day. Heuristics, virus heuristics. Pup, yeah, I even want that. What's that? Scan for PUP2. Advanced set. Oh, well, since this thing's messed up and that uh, that program that I'm trying to get rid of is a PUP, something that opened up my web browser and trying to go to a website to, just to click on their ads to make them money. Scan cookies too. Who knows what's in the cookies anymore? All these flash cookies and everything else. I, and my Linux systems and my Firefox, they automatic. I have add-ons that automatically delete them every time I shut down Firefox. But in the Windows, there's some of those add-ons aren't even don't work in Windows. Recognize hidden extensions. Yeah, let's do that. Report documents with macros. Well, I haven't used any doc macros and documents lately. Shouldn't probably shouldn't be any. Paranoid mode. Okay. Let's get in the rest of you. Yeah, there we go. Boot sector. Okay, select. I think it's going to do it. Yeah, I've never run this before, this AVG rescue. Looks like it's just doing it. I'll back up a little bit. You can see the whole thing, even though you can't read it. The letters aren't all showing up because it didn't set my monitor just right. But uh, top, it's just stuff about AVG. Copyright and stuff. Database version. There you're beginning to see something come up. Dev SDB1. Yeah, just just the dates and stuff of it. <coughs> but uh, now then, we're starting to get a. Uh, it's in the recycle bin. It says it's already at 11 percent. But uh, I would expect it to take one to three hours to do this. This could be a much faster scanner than I expected it to be. I did set it to scan archives and everything. I want everything checked. So Archives is where they almost always hide. I don't know why it should be an option. So. Ah. We got something. Oh, a password protected file. Let's see what that is. SDA recycle bin. Well, I'm just going to have to go manually empty that, re delete all that stuff in the recycle bin. That's already been put in there. Uh, I don't know why some of these programs, well, I know why they put them in the recycle bin in case you wanted it back, but it's a Casper INET RDLZ info. Oh, that's a neat Linux file. Probably a false positive, but who knows for sure. Okay, when you get to a system that's... Actually, this one wasn't all messed up. It didn't come up with all kinds of... Well, yes, it did. Not the same uh, adware roots and stuff, root kits. There was actually some root... 
adware that reported to be a rootkit adware. Never seen that before in this in all the scanning I've done these three systems. Which it was in this not the sometimes the same files I got to where I was remembering same programs or the same program but a different version of it. So it's really crazy. So that's what made me think, you know, it's just ads and it's not anything but aggravation is not dangerous and that's why I didn't take it out first time or two I scanned one of them and then it started uh, showing uh, well I started seeing symptoms in each machine one by one and then that's when I got really serious about scanning them you know uh, and so uh, and I believe that this machine here is the only one I'm worried about saving because it's the one that has all these videos on it that I don't have a place to put and if I can save it and still have a Actually, I may just do that. Uh, it, I'll, for now, if I can get it cleaned up to where I feel safe to use it, I'll use it. This AS Rock, and then my Dell 1525 laptop. I think I'll re I've been meaning to update uh, the Fedora on it anyway. I think it's Fedora 21, and I, I want to put 24 on it. I'll just reformat the whole thing, and I, I could really use more space anyway on it. Only thing is, you know, sometimes, well, I don't really use. I was thinking I might need to leave Windows on there so that I could use Skype in Windows for the translation and all that sometimes, but I just used it today, the Linux version, and it did the text translation just fine. So by itself, we used to have to use an add-on, and I couldn't get that add-on to install in the newer version, get it to run. It doesn't install, you just run it. We had all these dependencies that I couldn't get to install. I got tired of messing with it. And the... Uh, so anyway, I was able to do just what I wanted to do. The new Skype for Windows will actually, just figured that out the other day, it'll actually, uh, you can talk and it'll translate your speaking into another language, but it uses its, you know, machine voice and that's weird. I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Uh, what's the other machine? S-Rock, Dell 1525 laptop. Oh, and the Lenovo i5 that I use every day. Well, I've never once really wanted to use that. The only reason I even put the Windows on there is I thought I wanted to try out this. I uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's a professional video editing suite that has now got a free version. There's two of them. One I already tried and didn't like it. And there's another one that I thought, hey, this one might be better. And I didn't want to try it, but it has to have a 64-bit system, and I think that's... Is this one? No, this one's 32-bit, and it won't won't run 64-bit. I don't believe. Well, of course, you got to have the license, and that's the license that was came with it. And um, yeah, I don't think. Yeah. So anyway, I don't think I could do it uh, on anything but the Lenovo i5. It has 64-bit Windows 7 on it. When I got it, it was just messed up, and I reformatted and re reinstalled Windows, and then installed Fedora 23, and that's what I use as my main machine now. This thing's going fast. It's at 37%. I'm been mumbling on here and it's going on through. <coughs> so, I'm beginning to really think I just want to have one system of Windows 7. Only upside to having more than one system, if one gets infected, and you could use the other one for whatever it is you're trying to do in the meantime. But <laughs> when you get all three up and down, you just don't want to. I don't want to screw with them anymore. Period. I don't have time for all this. And then the uh, Windows XP, I had hung on to it just for the OBDI scanning tools, you know, to check the car engine and all that. But, you know, there's plenty of Android apps for that. And I never had uh, I never had a phone until, a, a, a smartphone until just these last few months. And now I've got two of them. So, you know, I could put those apps on there. I don't really use it much. Uh, it's really... <coughs> just for my brother so my vehicle I have a 76 blazer and it's 83 van Dodge 76 Chevy blazer and an 83 Dodge van they don't either one need that so uh, well, and my mom's car that's the only reason I thought you know once in a while I might want to stick a do, a, do an OBDI scan on my mom's car but uh, uh, that's the only reason so uh, but with that you know XP you can't even Seems like you forget boot getting on the internet or surfing the internet. I wouldn't do that with it anyway, but you can't even hardly boot it up without. I think the instant that uh, that they stop supporting these uh, operating systems, you know, with these updates, 
They, uh, s they somehow magically more exploits hit the internet so that are so bad that and somebody somewhere knows how to make them <laughs> affect your machine even when you don't use the web browser okay everybody knows about drive-by viruses but what about viruses that get in the machine that has been booted up yeah on the network but the web browser has not even been opened and you get three or four infections just from running the machines. Where does that come from? Hmm. Okay. Well, this is 37 percent. I've rambled on way too long. I talked about my conspiracy theories now, so I better quit. All right. I'll come back when it's done. This is Don. Bye bye.